Hello, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build Gary the Snail in Minecraft in under 10 minutes. The blocks needed for this build are light blue, lime, black, white, pink, red, brown, and green concrete, and then quartz slabs. In concrete, go 19 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then come next to it, go four blocks, one, two, three, four, and then repeat that all the way back. So 19 here, and then four across. Now we just wanna add a single layer on top of the whole thing. So what I do is outline these first. And then just fill this inside in. Now we're gonna add the slime to the body. So pick any side you want and then just outline the first layer right here. And then go one, two, three, leave one block space. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then do the same thing right here. Just outline this outside. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then just do that all the way around. Now we're gonna do the eyes. So come in two blocks in from the corner right here, place 10 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, And then outline this top layer. And then take your white concrete, add three layers on top of this. And then fill in these corners or edges, whatever you wanna call them. Now take your black concrete, make the eyeball, and then take your quartz slabs and just outline this how I'm doing right here. So it should look like this. And then just repeat it on the other side. All right, now we're gonna do the shell. So come right here where this first gap is and then go one, two, three, four, five. So it should just be one longer on both sides in the screen right here. And then from here in a circle, we're gonna do a five, two, one pattern, I like to call it. So basically what that means is you have five blocks right here, and then you go up by two, one, and then repeat. So two, now it should be five, two, three, four, five, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, two, one, and two. It's a little bit hard to explain, but it should just be five, two, one, and then that repeats everywhere else. So five, two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one. I think you'll understand. And then repeat that on the other side. So the first gap is one, two, three, four, five, two, one, Two, one, two, three, four, five, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, and then two, one, two, and we should be done. And then just fill the entire thing in, both sides. Now we need to outline the circle so it actually looks like his shell. So come in right here and then just start outlining one layer outside of the circle. So it should look like this. And then we're gonna wanna bring this over by three blocks all around to match the other side. And 
So now we gotta make the details on the shell, like the little swirl and the blue dots, you know? So come right in the middle right here and then go one, two, three, four, five. And then come to the side, go one, two, one, two, and then one, two, three, four. So it should look like this so far. Now coming up from this spot, go one, two the opposite way, one, two, and then bring this over by two. So it should be right over the middle right there. And then bring this down. And then this should be three right here. So it should be a one block gap. So just follow the same pattern around. Then bring this in right here and then make a diagonal right there. That may have been a little hard to follow, so we'll do it on the other side as well. So remember, come right to the middle right here. Go one, two, three, four, five. Then one, two, diagonal, one, two, diagonal, one, two, three, four, diagonal right there. Then go one, two, opposite diagonal, one, two. Then bring this over like this. And then bring this down, down left diagonal. And then one, two, three for this side. So it should just be completely straight right there. Not straight, completely diagonal. And then right here, another diagonal, bring it to the middle, and then bring it up by one right there. He has those little blue dots. I don't know what they are, but <laughs> we gotta add them. So come right to the middle right here, two blocks up, add one. So what I like to do is come to the right side of this red swirl right here, and then second block down, go two over, and then place a blue. And then about halfway between these two, place another one. Doesn't need to be completely perfect. Just right there, looks good. And come to the other side, second one down, over like that. And then about halfway through, I'd say about right here. And boom. Repeat that on the other side. So go right to the middle, right there. Two blocks down, blue, about halfway up, boom. And then two blocks, two blocks, halfway through. We'll say right here. Simple as that. And then come wherever you want to. We're gonna make the bowl right here. You just need your brown and green concrete. We're gonna do a three, one, three pattern, kind of how this one was five, two, one. So you just go one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, just like that. Then we're gonna add two layers on top of this entire thing, just with the same green. Once you have a three tall bowl, just add a layer all the way around, outline the bowl. So it should look like this. And what's a bowl without food? So what I like to do is just make a layer right here so then you can't see the sand at all. And then just start spamming brown blocks everywhere. Make them fall out the edge and stuff and over the top. You know, Spongebob, I'm not even gonna say that. <laughs> that was gonna be a stupid joke. Try as hard as you can to have blocks not touching. So like, kind of like a checkerboard pattern or up right here. It just makes it look a little better in the end. 